everybody, welcome back to Craft with Norma. Today I'm just going to do a quick rundown on how to make the accordion tag folder that um, I made. And I did do a flip through um, of it a couple of weeks back and somebody's contacted me to say can I show them a demonstration on how I've actually uh, made it. So uh, it is quite simple, quite straightforward-ish. Uh, what you're going to need is a 12 inch piece of card. Now I've used this from the Tim Holtz French uh, Industrial and all you're going to do is just rip off two sheets. So here you can see that, turn that over, uh, I've cut off two sheets um, from the, the pad and all I've gone and done then is I've got my scoreboard and the first thing I'm going to do is score it at one inch, like so, and then I'm going to move it up and I'm going to score it then at three and a half inches, like so. Then I'm going to score it again at three and a half inches. So I'm going to move that along and score at three and a half inches again. And then for the last time, I'm going to fold it over and score at three and a half inches again. Now, what you will find is you'll then have about half an inch left over, which I've got just there. And we're just going to fold those over like so. And you're going to have two of those, which I've actually got here. So we've got two. And the next thing I want to do is where we've got the half inch one now to make it easy for you to see I've actually already um, gone around the edges of these and distressed them I'm just going to glue those together if I remember rightly yes I think I want to glue it there and there don't I so that bends like so yes so I'm going to run a strip of red tape A strip of red tape down that edge there, like so, because I'm wanting that to go there like that. I want those two to fold over onto each other, like so, and then another piece. to go on, whoops, on there like that. So we're just basically joining them. Just trim that little bit off because I don't need that bit. Oop, that's it. So that's going to stick down there and that one's going to stick down there and then they should fold over each other. So take the red bit off. It fascinates me how it sticks to you because of your electricity in your your body. Stay there, that's it. So we're wanting those lines there to meet up. So just like just like that, keep I'm trying to keep them straight if I can. There we go. And then they should just bend over like that. So you've got a bend, and a bend, and a bend, and a bend, like so. So you've got one continuous concertina now. Now, as you can see here, this one flips over just a little bit. So I'm quite happy just to tear that across like that, just so it matches up. And then I'll distress that um, a bit later. There we go. So you've got one continuous piece. Now what we're going to do now is put that on one side and I've got a piece of craft card and what I've done with the craft card is uh, you can use if you want to continue to use some of the, um, the card that you've already used but I wanted mine to be a bit stiffer so I've used craft card and I've measured that across and I've got a feeling it's about five and 
yeah, five and three quarters across there by five and a half in length. So cut it out and then I folded it in half like so. And then I've just got my scissors and I've just trimmed off the end to make it tag shaped. So that's where we're at with that one. Next, what I want to do, so here's one I've got pre-prepped, which I'll show you how to, uh, to do it. You've got your card and we're going to attach the one inch thick strip, but we must make sure that we've got at least a quarter of an inch uh, that's distance from the bend or the fold to the actual card itself. So I'll get mine. Here we go. And we're going to want that to go roughly on there. So that's where my bend is. And I'm going to want to follow that line there. So I'm going to put a strip of my red tape across just there, if I can find the end. And it's like all the other ones, like this, here we go. And I was given a tip by someone, if I can't, if you can't find the end, close your eyes and try and have a go, because what happens, the tips of your fingers become even more sensitive and can usually pick it up, there we go. So that's gonna go along there. Make sure that's really pressed down well, and then I should be able to take off the the red. Easier said than done. There we go. And then remembering that we've got to have at least a quarter of an inch where the bend is there, like so. So when that bends over, we've got that little lap, that little slit that's there, like that. And then we're going to bend that across. Now what I will do is I'm going to stitch all the way around there uh, with my sewing machine. So, so that's that one. That's the relatively easiest. And as you'll see that as I'm bending it over there is a gap and it doesn't matter if that gap's not 100% because as I say it sort of concertinas out so it's not too much of um, a hassle. But what you must make sure this time round is that when you put your next piece of craft card that it's going to actually marry up and be equal so it's going to be straight and equal or as best as you can so as you can see in my one here if i just push that piece of ephemera down they match up so they're the same Width and they're re relatively straight. It doesn't matter about these being higgledy piggledy, uh, it's just important that you get those two in line. So, to enable me to do that, what I'm going to do is put a piece of red tape red tape across there, like that. Okay, and I'm not going to glue it down straight away because what I want to do is mark um, where I want it to go. Um, so I'm going to layer that, just move this out, I'm going to lay that down like so, there like that, and put my finger on there to make sure that that does match up and straighten it off as best as I can. And then I'm just going to get a pencil and I'm just going to mark with my pencil where I want that to go. Like so. Just double check. Yeah, that's going to be about it, I think. Take off the red tape. and fold it over like so. And there you've got the edge and you've got those two 
in the right straight place. Okay, so next, okay, I'll do it on this one as well. So, just to remind you. This time it's on this side, which makes no, no odds really. So again, just making sure that that's relatively straight. Mark it so we know where it's going because you're not going to see the inside of this so it's not going to make uh, that much difference to be uh, to be fair and that's slightly out because we still want this gap here we still want that gap there for where the fold is okay and then we can put the red tape on that side. Now the next bit after this is that we're going to want a bit uh, in the sort of centre. So when it stands up, so you can just see here, I've got one, where it stands up, if you didn't have that on, it would fall over. So we're going to be doing that bit next. And again, that can be a bit uh, on the tricky side. Oh, get a piece of red tape first. So as I say, if you open that up now, it would collapse. So what we're going to want to do is have an extra piece added on to one of your, it doesn't really matter which one, as long as it's one of them, that comes down and is straight. So for that, I'm going to use one of these pieces here that uh, I've already measured out. like so and I'm going to want to have that I think I'm going to have that sort of there like that and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that because I'm going to have that as a pocket so where I've got this one bent over I want this to match there like so does that make sense so I've opened it up I'm going to layer that in like so yeah, and I'm going to want to fold that there like that and I need this line to be in line with that line there. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Now the next thing is, we've got some space here that I need to cut off because I don't want that bit sticking out. So I'm going to mark it like so and you can see Probably better on this one. You can see where I've marked the edge there that I want to cut off and I've done the same just there. So with my scissors I'm just going to trim that off like so because I didn't want that sticking out of the, the journal. So I'm just going to trim that like so. So that should then stick on there like that. Move that along a bit, and then you shouldn't be able to see it. But it's still going to be straight. Did I do it that way? No, I did it that way. That's why that's not right. Okay, so that just slots over there like so, and that slots onto there like that. Now what I'm also going to do this time is just put a little tiny mark here, and a little tiny mark there. So we've got a mark here and we've got a mark, I've lost that mark, that goes there, that goes there, to there, okay. And what I'm going to do now is make sure that I put that on there, that on there, and I'm going to run a piece of red tape just down the corner there just to secure it for the time being because what I will do is I'm going to sew that as well. 
so this long piece is going to have that piece there like that and then a smaller piece just there like so Mark there where we want it, and I've marked there where we want it. Okay. Oh, and that's stuck a little bit. So it's not going to matter because we can take that off. Just like that. Now, what I'm going to do now is go away and sew it and come back to you and show you what the next bit where we're at. Okay, okay. But as you can see now, when we open it out like so, it should hold itself up. Right, see you in a minute. Okay, so we've now gone and sewn around the edges of the tags and I've also sewn along the bottom um, here. I've added some bits that I had, little bits of card that was left over and I've just sewn those in at the same time just to uh, add to the um, uh, embellishments that we're going to do. And also this bit here which matches with the tag, the little square piece there, I've just gone and sewn that in along the edges um, as well on, uh, on both of them. So just to give you uh, an idea, so there's the two that uh, I've made. Now it's entirely up to you how you then decorate it. And uh, just as a quick reminder how I've decorated mine. So this is the front cover of mine and it opens up that way. Uh, and I've added and glued and played around and put little tickets and little flaps and things uh, inside each of the pockets. Uh, as you can see, and it's entirely up to you how you embellish your little concertina book, um, whatever theme that you like. So again, there's one of my little uh, quill pens that lifts up, uh, and I've got an apothecary jar, and um, a lady there, one of Tim Holt's little dolls. And uh, As I say, the, the world's your oyster now, you can just add to it as much as you like or as little as you like, which whatever theme that you like. So again, I've just put a little pocket there. And then if you need to re-sew, you can re-sew. It's not an issue uh, at all. Um, it's just entirely up to you how you now decorate your little tag book, uh, or your little tag concertina book. And best of luck. I will show you when I finish doing the two, I, I will show you how I've actually finished those off. Okay, speak to you soon, bye. Okay, so the next stage, what I've gone and done is just to strengthen around the edges where everything folds in and out. So I've done it two ways. This one is using Tim Holtz washi tape, the linen tape, and this one is just using what I had uh, around the studio. So we'll start off with the Tim Holtz alternative. So all I've gone and used is some of the Tim Holtz papers, which I've ripped jaggedly and put on a layer on top of the uh, craft card. And then when you open it out, you can see there. Now I'm hoping that this, uh, if I remembered rightly, I haven't glued down. So that can become, I'm getting a piece of card, that can become an actual pocket. It's a bit tight. So that can become hopefully a pocket of some description. There we go. You're going to go in. I might have to loosen that up. So that's going to be a pocket. Then I've used some of the um, tape. So it's like a linen material and it's the Tim Holtz tape. And then on the next section, when I've opened it out, I've just used some more of the card and bent it over and glued it on just so it strengthens that, um, that fold there. And the next one I've gone and used his tape. 
The next one I've used is tape. Now I've also on this one, because I felt that the fold was a little bit short, I've added a little tiny piece extra of the um, paper that I've used. Uh, so that when that folds up, it's just got an extra little lip there, which I quite like when the uh, it's all folded in and out. And again, I used a piece of the tape. And again, I've just used a piece of the paper just to go over the edge there to give me a little bit of um, extra uh, texture and then the tape. So then when that folds over like that, you've got some bits and pieces that's hanging over the edge and I think it makes it look a bit fuller. So on the opposite side then, on the back, we open it out and again I've got a piece of that card which is the reverse of this card here that I've used on the back panel. Piece of his tape Another piece there of his paper to give it a little bit of extra. Or have I already said that? Hang on a second, I think I have. Oh, yeah. So, on here we've got a piece of tape, another piece of tape going that way, and it's just to give a little bit of strength to those um, foldy bits. And this one I've added his paper and a piece of um, the tape. Here, just a piece of the tape, um, some of his papers there. Uh, then another piece of his tape going that way and then on the last piece here I've just added this piece um, here just to over, over the edge. So that's using the Tim Holtz papers and his linen washi tape. And then if you haven't got any of the Tim Holtz papers or you're limited, um, this is the option, the second option that I've gone and done. So basically I've tea stained an envelope and then I've added some of my stain to it in drips and little uh, little swirls. And then basically I've just tore it up. So on the front piece, you can see where I've torn it up and I've distressed it. Opens out and again you can see it's torn. And then I've used strips of the envelope to strengthen each of the, um, the folds. As you can see there and there and there and then here I had some of the paper um, a scrap of paper which I thought I would use for the back panel Oops. that I thought I would use for the back panel and I've just used it there because um, I had a little piece left over and then again some of the, uh, the envelope and again I've just used strips of the envelope for the back uh, made a little hole and highlighted it looks like as if it's sort of burnt and then just a little bit of um, script paper that I had from um, a pack just had a little tiny bit in my um, in my box of scraps and again just sort of like built it up using the little scraps so you don't have to use uh, washi tape if you haven't got any there is an alternative for you to use so that's the two options and that's where we're at at the moment in decorating it. So we've just strengthened the, um, the folds and we've also extended uh, and give it a bit more texture on the, uh, the outside folds as well, which I think is quite nice. I quite like that, uh, that sort of look. Okay, so off to do some more. Be back soon. Okay, so I've now finished the two that I was working on. Um, so this is the one that I did with the Tim Holtz um, materials. So that's the Tim Holtz um, linen washi tape and I've used uh, lots of Tim Holtz bits and pieces in it. So the first thing I did was just stamped on the paper and put that onto the front cover and then uh, just use some of the Tim Holtz mini dolls uh, these two gentlemen here and then just a little one of the Tim Holtz uh, notes which I've reduced in size um, open it out and I've put a small tag just there just a small thin one uh, into that little pocket that we had there and then I've just made a pocket there with one of the um, photos uh, this one's slightly coloured she's got uh, some uh, lipstick on <coughs> so she, I think she looks very 19 
uh, 40s. And then turning over, I'm just going to put a little tiny piece of card and I've gone and used some of the um, washi tape that I had and I've had that a while and then just a little label in there and cut out of a five, number five. And then here I've just done a flip up, so I've just used a tag with a little bit of cheesecloth at the back, uh, a rusty safety pin and some um, uh, ribbon there just to, so you know it lifts up. And then we've got one of the Tim Holtz paper dolls and I've just trimmed her legs off. Uh, it wasn't painful to her, honest. And just sort of backed her um, up there with some uh, collage. And then turning that over, oops, we've then got a, another piece of the paper and uh, I've just laid it up. And then we've just got a little ticket there. And I've used a tag end there just to extend this little pocket out just a little bit, like so. And then here we've got one of the clocks and I've just put them there inspired and again just two little tickets, a school meal ticket and a, a shipment collect um, ticket that goes in there. Uh, that stamp I think I'm almost certain that's from the field note stamps that he has and so is that little um, number there from the same set. And then we turn over and we've just got a little pocket there with a ticket and a um, Paris little label ticket that pops in there and then that turns over and again at the back we've got a little boy with his huge dog his epic dog as I've put there and some of the paper I've just put on the back there and uh, just to give it a bit of uh, a textured look um, I've ripped it and just stuck it onto the uh, the card and then turning over, we've got another little pocket there that I've used a, one of my tags and two little tickets that stick in there. And then on this one here, I've gone and used one of Tim Holt's gauges and two of the little boys. Uh, and he's leaning on the gauge and then a number six. And as I say, the little, um, the little uh, ticket there that uh, slots there. And then turning over here, we've got, um, this is one of the keyholes from Tim Holt's Halloween um, stickers. Uh, and I thought I would just use that on, on there. And then this is one of my vintage stamps. And what I've done is I've put it in through the laminator and then cut out the tag shapes and attached it. And there, uh, Haymarket uh, platform ticket. And then here we've got a little girl that's, uh, now I don't think that's a Tim Holtz image if I'm honest, um, but I've gone and put her there at the back of a uh, photo little frame, two little tickets there that slot in there. And then I've also used one of the feathers that I've cut out and uh, stained up. And then if we turn that over we've got a factory made sticker and again that's one of the Tim Holtz um, sets and the numbers there that I've put on just a, a base of the uh, a frame it's just the inside that's come out and then here I've added just a little tiny envelope with a, put a rusty pin on it and that's got a little card that's inside uh, and that just slots into there like that and it's supposed to be a bird on a nest um, and then just some stamps and some uh, numbers. And that one's the completed uh, one of that one. And then this one where I've used, I've not used so much Tim Holtz on this one. Uh, I've just used the uh, envelope that I've gone and um, coffee stained and then printed on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we've just got a moth on there and then this is some of the uh, textured paste that I've put on a cheesecloth to stiffen it. Uh, a little label there and again that's from one of the field notes um, stamps from Tim Holt. And then this opens out and again I've just used that blank um, but on this side I've just done a little tiny pocket that's it was sewn in there original, nothing more, nothing um, exciting really there. Just the bingo ticket and the bus um, service ticket there. 
and then coming over here I found uh, in my stash a little wooden domino and seeing it got a five and a six I just put a number five cut out on there and then just two little tickets that slot in there and then on this side basically the same or similar where I just put a label onto there, a small label collage there and then just two tickets that um, slot into there like so. Turning it over again and you can see that on this one I haven't used um, washi tape, I've just used the paper that I had um, just to strengthen those corners. This was the bigger pocket so this is the one that actually stands up and is the same um, height just um, there and on this one it's a indigo blue stamp with the, the pointy finger uh, censored and again I've used a feather there and a label and then just two little um, a tag and a, an admit one uh, label and then this was just I found this underneath um, one of my glass mats I put it must have put it there to keep it safe and then came across it and here I've just added the number nine cut out and some other numbers that's uh, on there and then on this side we've got again we've got a vintage label and a bus service ticket that's it um, and that just slots into there like so and here on the back page I thought I would decorate this back page so I put a domino um, card and this young boy here with his dog and I've put uh, the number seven although well, thinking about it really I should have put number six I think because that's got six on there and then the back page where I've just built it up with the clock and uh, one of the little tags um, and some numbers and that's it that's the completed um, trio now so that's my original and these two are the ones that um, I've made to show you how I've made them so do hope you've enjoyed uh, watching how I've done it and have a go yourself I think it's quite relatively uh, easy to do and thank you for watching if you've subscribed thank you so much if you haven't please do subscribe uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon because that will remind you when I've done another um, YouTube um, film uh, not sure what my next one's going to be if I'm very honest but thank you for watching don't forget to check out my Etsy store and also check everything that I make because I put that on uh, Instagram uh, crafted by Norma okay thanks very much for watching and I'll see you shortly thanks bye <laughs>